Hello everyone, my name is Ajay. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update uh, update the data uh, to the tables using uh, Code First Approach of Entity Framework. So, in, uh, before watching this video, I prefer you to watch my previous video where I was showing how to insert the data to the tables using Code First Entity Approach. Okay. So, to the continuation of my previous video, just uh, I want to comment this insert data method for now. Okay. So if you see my table, in my table I'm having uh, one row uh, with uh, with the ID as one and the employee name as Ajay. So I want to uh, rename this employee name uh, to Ajay or uh, Ajay Ready. So for making it possible, I want to add another method to the employee operation class update data <clears throat> okay so here here uh, I mean like I want to pass a parameter um, I want to pass a parameter I mean I want to pass a ID to that ID uh, where, where it actually matches that ID I want to add update the uh, employee name of that ID so for the I want to pass ID uh, for this method it will be int ID okay so now so now so uh, this is the employee's property and this is the employee context so I have to use this for updating the data so I will be creating the object to the employee context sorry I will be creating the object for the employee context okay so where I'm declaring a variable that's it so for this I'll be using a link query Link query is nothing but uh, it's like uh, I mean for doing the operations for for this SQL server or some in some cases like Oracle databases you don't need to know the uh, syntax of the SQL uh, SQL language particularly I mean you can use this link queries so this will be a this will be like a common coding uh, for all the different databases so where you can perform operations uh, on the different operation uh, different databases by using this common code uh, in the form of link queries so this is nothing but it is like from employee like EMP in employees this employees is a DB set so in this employees I'll be having all the rows so in this employees I want to sell I want to have only one EMP like that so from EMP in dot employees where EMP dot ID I mean employee ID equal to ID I mean it have to match this ID right so that's the reason I have given the condition over there so I want to select that row and I want to select only uh, there uh, I want to select only one row so I will be using the single operation okay so what here I've done actually this is our link query actually so this from EMP EMP is something only one row I mean it is saying to select only one row from this employees DB set where the condition is matching this ID and finally we are selecting that row and we are performing a uh, operation known as single the single will uh, select only one row may, may, uh, there are some uh, in some cases there may be uh, many other rows matching this condition so in that case this single will take only one row so so when it takes only one row it is uh, it is easy for us to update that row so if if in case it selects more than one row then it is difficult for us to update right uh, we don't know which one to update like that so that's when I was using dot single operation so so now this C so in this C 
in this employee C, I have one row selected to the condition uh, which I have given. So for that, I have to update the required fields like employee ID or uh, let it be one only for now and I want to change the employee name to JRD. Okay, and now I want to save the changes. and then after I want to pin the message to the console saying update that successfully just I want to so just to be in the console screen only to use console or read line okay <clears throat> so I'm done with the update method so just uh, here I passed a parameter in ID and then after I created an object for the employer context and then after uh, using link queries I was matching the row that is matching this ID and converting it to uh, and taking only one plot of that condition and then after uh, getting that row I'm updating the details of that row that's it so if uh, so for making this method to run I want to call it in the main method so o dot update data that's it and here I have to pass the ID so if you see my ID is one over here so I want to pass one okay so after I run this project it will automatically rename this name to Ajay ready from Ajay so that's all about this uh, this uh, method actually so let me run and show you what actually it happens so here you can see updated successfully so let's check in the server yeah so now you can see it is updated to Azure ready so that's it I mean it's very simple actually for updating the data so hope you understand this video easily and also I mean I've done nothing I just added another method known as update data and to that I passed a parameter for just making the condition possible to match with this parameter and then after I've selected that particular row and to that particular row I've updated the data as per my requirements and I finally ch save the changes that's it and I call that method in this uh, main method and after running the project it will automatically uh, update the data in the SQL server that's all about this update method in the next video I'll be showing about uh, I'll be explaining about how to uh, display the table data and also I'll be explaining how to delete the uh, rows from the table in the next video and thank you friends for watching my uh, watching my video and if you like this please subscribe to my channel hope uh, we'll see you again in this next video thank you